And we're back to Xism, still JavaScript. Pythagorean triplet is the next exercise that I've solved. Pretty sure you know that from school. A square plus B square equals C square. And to find these triplets, we'll check, we'll check these numbers A, B, C. And if we sum them up, do they give us N equals in this specific example 1000? So we'll have to check for a given sum, which is N, if A, B, C sum up to it. By default, the max factor should be the sum and the min factor is 1, because there is no triangle with a size of 0. So we'll have to be at 1 or higher, but sometimes a min and a max factor is given to us in the tests, or at least is an optional addition here to this task. I've added it to my solution, let me paste it here and I'll check. As always, it's a good idea for you to pause the video and then recode it step by step. I think the easy part is the triplet class here, code line 21. We'll just use a constructor for ABC. I will set A, B, and C to this A, B, and C. And then we'll return it in the two array function. Let's check a test. So here, we have ABC given, for example, 3, 4, 5. This is this triplet and we want to check it if it amounts to the given sum. Here, for example, the sum would be 100 and we'll have to check it with the given ABC. To do that, I have created an array right here. It's empty and then returns in code line 18. Then we have an inner and an outer for loop for two of the sides, A and B. And inside we have the C side of the triangle checked. Uh, let me add some spacing here. It's easier to read. The conditions might be interesting. So as I've said, min factor and max factor, I believe it was optional, but I've added it here. And by default, it should be one or the sum. And we always increment our counter, in this case A, in the in the outer loop and the inner loop will increment b and then we have finally the c which is here math squared a square plus b square so this is the pythagorean principle Let me check it again, not that I've made a typo while messing around with it. No, it works, so you can pause the video here and then recode it step by step and it should become clearer. I hope this solution was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.